Mulberry, South Australia today. We're in a location that's called Nolterui. It means Riverland. Well, I love this place. The river always inspired me. We live by the river. The river was there for our meals, for our fish, for our water, for our washing our clothes. And to me, the river is very important. In 1982, I attended a workshop, and it's the first time I heard about the wedding. So I went down, and there's a person named Auntie Dory, Auntie Dorothy Katinri, beautiful auntie, and she was running that workshop. The Ngariri weaving, Ngariri means southeast, Raukan, the Kurong. If you see my work, and with the images that's in there, my weaving will speak for itself. It's very important to to pass that pass it on, you know, the culture. And my mum didn't pass anything on me, she didn't know how to weave. My grandmother she didn't know how to weave, but we had to take Auntie Dory. It's the sage grass, yeah, it's the sage grass, yeah. There's a lot of process in it, collecting it, cleaning it, drying it. There's a certain time of the year, like October on, is, is the time to collect and, and get it prepared, dry it out for a long time, and then start weaving, yeah. From here, we just have to go about five or six metres, and it's grown under the trees. So these are the future. Hopefully we'll have a, a really wet winter. And then when you come back, if you come back next, there'll be hub, all green. They should be as tall as the one in my pot. I pot my material. I put it in pots. It's up growing, you know, really good. And so I don't have to go amongst snakes to, to look for material, yeah, yeah, it's in my backyard. If I stop from weaving, that would be it, you know. So there will be a day coming when I won't be able to weave anymore, and I hope that with Lurleen, my granddaughter, she's going to be the one to carry it on. She's only seven, but I started when I was in my 30s. So I think I'll give her a good start at seven years old. You could talk about culture, but you've got to practice culture as well to, to keep it alive. I'm trying to pass that on, you know, to, to the next generation, planting the seed at a very young age. Okay, when you put a stitch through, you pull, Lily, you pull the stitch away from you, and then it'll be strong. There you go, where you go. Pull it away from you. Tighten it up. It makes me feel proud. She is my granddaughter. I just hope that one day she'll become me. Exactly the same as me. Creating unusual pieces. Maybe she'll have different ideas. Maybe it would be a different you know, uh, creation. I don't know.